AI is one of the biggest talking points in the industry on the show floor today at ISC 2024. I'm joined today by Jeroen van der Most, who is an artist who specializes in the work of AI. Jeroen, you've been in this business a long time, working with artificial intelligence and bringing it into the world of art for people to enjoy. Could you tell me a bit about your background, your work, and how AI has defined your career? Yeah, well, I've you know, been in it, in it quite a while. So back in uh, 2010, so uh, so nearly uh, nearly 50 years ago, I was actually working in the market research and data science industry. And we were using all sorts of algorithms to do research into uh, advertising campaigns and, and, and how people were behaving online on uh, social media, which was getting really big back then. But it was kind of, you know, it was interesting to do research with these algorithms, but at some point I decided to, to, to try something quite different with them and also to try to use those algorithms for something creative again, something that was really inspiring to me and really connected with some passions of mine, which was art at that point. And so I started to make art uh, using algorithms uh, back in 2010. And some of these earlier projects, are, well, they were about, you know, uh, inventing and then creating these sort of new versions of Dutch old master paintings, Rembrandt, Van Gogh, so algorithmic distortions of those paintings, new variations. And this developed over the years into using uh, yeah, artificial intelligence, uh, yeah, deep learning based algorithms. And um, yeah, now I'm here today. To <laughs> and that's, that's where we ended up uh, eventually. Yeah, Absolutely. You've done some great work recently. Letters from Nature is a really interesting project you worked on. But you're not just here to, to look around at the AI technologies. You've also been presenting a keynote speech here at ISC and presenting some new technology as well. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Yeah, definitely. So we've done a keynote here and it, uh, there were basically sort of three parts in that. In the first part, I also talked about those uh, old master variations with artificial intelligence and the influence that uh, creative AI is, is has starting to have on, uh, yeah, on art, that it leads to all sorts of new forms of art. That, and of course, also crazy things like that uh, nowadays, nearly everyone can create, you know, beautiful stuff using, using these newer uh, AI tools and the consequences of that. And then we moved on to projects like Letters from Nature, indeed, about using yeah, these newer technologies like artificial intelligence to, 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 to make new connections with, uh, with the natural world. And eventually also touched on um, how can we build more interesting, more beautiful intelligent systems using AI that not just are about, you know, productivity and efficiency, but also about touching the heart again. Yeah, of course. And you've seen AI mature over the last, well, 15 years, really. You've really seen it go from, yeah, you yeah. know, being the, the, world, the realm of science fiction up to today, where it's now a regular talking point on the, on the show floor here at ISC. That was probably unthinkable like five years yeah, ago. Yeah, it's absolutely right? crazy. You can yeah. have a conversation with everyone on artificial intelligence. Everyone will have an opinion on this. So that's really something that really changed, you know. So people, uh, people know stuff about it. Everybody's starting to play around with it, you know or have seen something of it. So yeah, crazy times, definitely. Absolutely. And how would you say that the technology has matured? What does it really offer for people working in the tech space? Well, what it offers is basically that everybody, also without the really specific creative skills that you uh, needed to have in the past, everybody can now translate their, their human, you know, concepts, ideas, the stories that you want to bring to the world. You can create those using artificial intelligence. So it's a sort of yeah, democratization of, of, of creative skills. And eventually, it is also what I think is really interesting about this is that in the end, if you're talking about artificial intelligence, I think the human component will become even more important because that's what is going to make things stand out, actually. The, the, who has the most interesting, impactful, you know, touching ideas, uh, human ideas and stories to bring. Those will stand out eventually and will be realized using artificial intelligence. No, I think you're absolutely right. Um, I mean, how do you see AI? Where is the creativity with it? Does it lie with the algorithm or does it lie with the human behind it? Yeah, that's of course a very interesting question that every, uh, especially also uh, at the time that I created those the old master versions using artificial intelligence. So analyzing every painting Rembrandt ever made and then predicting what a new painting by Rembrandt would look like that, those were the main questions then also that the, the, this rises to questions like yeah what is creativity and who's creative here is, is an AI system actually creative or is it still the, the programmer behind uh, the system that, 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 that is taken into creativity or what, what, what does it say about the difference between humans and artificial intelligence so it's a uh, it's an insanely uh, fascinating uh, question and, and do I have the definite answer I'm afraid not but uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, absolutely. I think yeah. it's a discussion that's going to go on for years and years. And yeah. on that topic, how do you see AI evolving in the future? What role will it continue to play in this industry and beyond? Yeah, I think uh, what you're going to see is that uh, artificial intelligence also offers for this industry, and also, of course, for artists and building of art installations, also if, uh, it offers new possibilities like uh, self-evolving systems. So self-evolving content, content that can be created on the spot also, content that can react to or interact with people or can react to uh, changes in the environment or whatever, you know. Self-evolving systems, increasingly intelligent systems. Yeah, that's that's what you're going to expect uh, yeah, from artificial, I can expect from artificial intelligence in the near future. Absolutely. It looks like the AI in AV is here to stay. Your own. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. you.